morning. This is the 5 plus 7 financial report for the period ending November 30th. Um, in the general fund, we're projecting an income balance of 177.5 million, which is unchanged from last month, and 8.9% of expenditures less debt service. We agree with the controller on the aviation fund and the changes there. So the only other change we have to report in our forecast this month is in the forensic transition special fund where revenues and expenditures decreased by 348000 due to personnel savings. And that includes our report. Councilmember Martin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, gentlemen. During Monday's CFA meeting, I thought you guys had some interesting comments regarding, I think it was a question that Councilmember Bradford posed, and that was pension debt as a percent of overall city debt. So for the purpose of a lot of our people viewing today, could you go into that a little bit because your comments were pretty uh, interesting from my perspective. Um, we've, been, we've been having this discussion for the last week. So certainly uh, let me preface this by saying as the city CFO and the person who has signed all the city's bond documents and have made representations to our, uh, our bondholders, uh, the amount of pension debt is 4.6% of the entire, the total debt. And let me just put, break this down in probably the most morbidly way uh, I can. If every city employee and their spouse died today, the city would have no pension liability. If every city employee and their, debt, and, and their, and their spouse died today, we would still have debt. Those bonds would be paid. So that's probably the, the simplest way to explain this. So now moving forward with that, if you look at what the city owes and if you're planning, well, certainly the, the more than $3 billion in our unfunded liability is something that you take into consideration. But the debt, the actual municipal debt uh, is a little bit, about $12.9 billion. So you're only referring to the pension obligation bonds? Uh, pension obligation bonds, bonds, which are $601 million of that. That's right. about 4.6%. And as we said, oh, as we said, I'm figure, and I forgot what it was inclusive of, but it was 24.8%. So yes, if you include the liability, Controller said it's not technically debt, it's a liability. We all plan to pay it. It's, it's an obligation of the city. If you include that, um, it does go up to 24.8% of debt and pension obligations. 